you guys have cracked the code on weight and size or something. So. That, that's right. Yeah, we're going to show you from the start to the, start to the finish. Good deal. We're going to go check out the Moss Elk Ultralights, and then we're going turkey hunting with my man Scott. I finally made it to Indian. We're in Shipshawana. Shipshawana, Indiana. Shipshawana. Scott West. Scott came down, he's with uh, StarCraft. He's kind of my go-to guy at StarCraft. You know, I'm a newbie RV guy. And Scott's gonna give us a tour of the ultralights. That's right. Ultralights, Mossy Oak Edition's coming off the line. And I needed something to tie his turkey hunt in with. He came down and went turkey hunting. And I don't know, it was divine intervention. Yes, sir. We, we were talking about it this morning, but his turkey hunt was one of the best turkey hunts I've ever been on. I've been doing this 50 years. That's the most goblin I've ever heard. That was incredible. Before we go to the turkey hunt, we're gonna go look at the Moss Oak Ultralights coming off the line. All right. Here we go. For RV standards, this is a pretty state-of-the-art facility. These boys are hopping. They're just coming off their morning break. It's uh, 8, 10 in the morning up here in Indiana. They start at 5 a.m. So this is where it all starts. So one of the unique features of these Mossy Oak Ultralights is the fully heated and enclosed underbelly. So they're actually going to attach the underbelly. It's going to be the first thing they do here. This is a frame flipper. Once they put the underbelly on, they're going to put the axles on and they're actually going to flip this entire chassis and go over into this station, what you're going to see here. The neat thing about this, fully heated and enclosed and insulated underbelly. This is R38 reflective foil insulation. We're going to suspend our holding tank. You see the heat duct, the four inch heat duct. All of our heat duct is gonna run subfloor. So you're gonna get continuous circulation around those uh, tanks to be fully insulated, heated. You're gonna get a longer camping season both on the front end and on the back end, earlier in the spring and later in the fall. Your gas lines here. So a lot of our competitors are gonna use black pipe for the gas lines. That is a less expensive way of doing it, but we chose to do this. You're gonna see the one main manifold here and then individual rubber lines running to each appliance. You're not going to get uh, any corrosion here um, with the black pipe. You're going to see that a lot of times that's going to rust and corrode over time. And if you do happen to have a problem, you can, you can replace that entire line so you don't have to worry about individual joints and different places to leak. So that's a nice feature that's often overlooked. Over here, we're building our floors. This will be a very similar floor structure to what you see in your house. Uh, two by three, two by two uh, studded floor. Cross members every 12 to 16 inches. And then it's 5 8 tongue and groove. And then we top that with uh, designer carefree Congolium linoleum. By far the best linoleum you can get in the industry. It's, it's cold crack resistant, it's stain and mold mildew resistant. It's gonna last a lifetime of this unit for sure. All of our cabinets are built in-house. We do as much assembly, pre-assembly offline as possible. And then we're gonna bring it down to the line and assemble on the production line. But you can see up top here, all of our cabinets are gonna be built and then they're gonna be sent down on these chutes by gravity. And then when the unit rolls under that, the guys are gonna be able to pick that up and set it on the, on the unit without you know, killing themselves, lifting them up and down. So it's a pretty unique process. This model, by the way, is the Mossy Oak Ultralight 212 FB. I'm extremely excited about this model. This is a perfect couples unit. You do have extra sleeping surface if you want to take, a, you know, some guests along, the grandkids especially. This thing is just awesome. This is a unique floor plan. Uh, I think it's going to be one of our top sellers. Part of the reason this is an ultralight uh, is the way we build our walls. Our, they're all aluminum framed and then they're laminated. So we get the strength out of the aluminum and the lamination process, but we keep that weight down. This thing's gonna come in under 5,000 pounds, so you're gonna be towing it with any you know, SUV, you know, half-ton vehicle very easily. Your everyday driver's gonna pull this thing down the road like a dream. All right, so we're up here on the roof scaffolding. We actually build our roof in one piece, unlike many manufacturers are building it in like four foot sections. So it's just gonna be a stronger overall assembly. We, you see our roof trusses here. Uh, we're gonna set them every 16 inches minimum. Most of our competitors are gonna be 24, 24 inches or two foot on center. We're gonna be 16 inch on the center, uh, just like your household type of structure. By far the strongest roof structure in the industry. We're gonna deck that with half inch OSB decking. And then most importantly, we're topping that with the PVC roof membrane, 15 year warranty, non-prorated, best roof membrane in the industry. This is something else worth mentioning. Uh, this is the AC ducting. This is a foam duct. 
lot of our competitors are going to use just a foil duct, so it's going to get condensation and possibly get, you know, wet spots on your ceiling. I'm sure you, some of you have seen that in your units or competitors' units. So part of what makes this a magnum roof system is we're going to put the nail plates on both sides of these trusses. Many of our competitors, again, it's a little step that we're doing. You know, they're just going to put it on one side, but that could twist over time and separate. We're putting on both sides, so you get double the strength. Over here, we have a little offline uh, kind of sub-assembly of our slide rooms. Our slide rooms are going to be fully laminated as well. Aluminum frame, the side walls, the end walls, the roof are all going to be laminated. So, stronger structure, uh, lighter structure. We're going to utilize uh, PMAX flooring. We're the only ones in the industry able to do that. Flush floor slide with linoleum. That's a patent that we hold. So, no carpet anywhere in this unit. Very easy to clean and maintain. Like I mentioned, pet and kid friendly. We're just setting the front cap on here. You see the aluminum substructure. This is a three-quarter fiberglass front cap. Something I want to point out here, aluminum uh, corner molding. This is fully extruded aluminum corner molding. Uh, you're not going to have that cheap plastic insert that you may see in some of our measures. So right here we have the PVC roofing membrane. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is a 15-year non-prorated warranty. You don't have to treat this annually for UV. All you have to do is maintain your seals and you're still gonna have a 15 year warranty on this. This is the industry leading 52 cubic feet of pasture storage. Largest baggage store and largest storage compartment uh, in this class of trailer by far. Okay, here we are inside the Mossy Oak 212 FB Ultralight. Like I mentioned earlier, I am super excited about this. This is a unique floor plan, under 25 feet, uh, long, under 5,000 pounds, just a perfect couples unit. You see up front here, you have the full-size queen bed, ash, dark wood grain. We have that accent panel on that front wall that really sets it apart. You have the two nightstands here, drawers on both sides. You have outlets on both sides, USB charging port, shirt closets, hanging shirt closets for your longer items. But really, in this floor plan, what's gonna set us apart, that flush floor slide, with the linoleum, no carpet anywhere in here. You have the chaise lounge. This is a trifold sleeper, so it folds out into additional sleeping surface. Let me show you how that works real quick. Front and center across from your chaise lounge, a 39 inch TV, AM, FM, Bluetooth, all in one stereo there. Microwave, flush mount range, Check out the counter space in here. You have the sink covers. You have the pull out uh, faucet here. And a huge stainless steel undermount sink. Silverware drawer. And just an overall tremendous amount of storage in this unit. All right, here's the corner bathroom. Nice thing about this bathroom setup, right inside the entrance door. So very important if you're making those day trips or whatever, you got a quick pit stop. You can access everything in here with the slide in. You can, your refrigerator's right inside your entrance door, your bathroom's right here. So if you have that quick uh, roadside stop, uh, you don't want to run your slide out. Uh, you can easily access anything in the bathroom. Right inside your entrance door, eight cubic foot, two-way gas electric refrigerator, eight cubic foot versus the six cube many of our competitors are using. That gives you an extra shelf, that gives you two more gallons of milk, um, you know, a lot of added capacity, and then even, you have an additional little pantry area uh, right inside of this unit. So you can see there's no wasted space in here, just a tremendous amount of storage, uh, just a perfect layout. All right, so this is a feature we just added for this fall. It's a solid step from Lippert. Very nice step. You're not going to worry about that spring when you're coming in and out. Very easy uh, to get up and down of it here. You can close that thing up with one hand. Your entrance door is going to be held back by a magnet. It's not going to be that cheap little plastic latch that often breaks. Something I want to point out here, every Mossy Oak Ultralight is going to have a spray port on the door side of the unit. The unit's going to come with this blue uh, coil hose. It has a standard uh, hose end on it. You can take this off as well. So if you want to wash off, rinse off, if you're doing some meal prep or whatever out here, it's very handy to have water uh, on the door side of your unit. And that's going to be standard on every Mossy Oak Ultralight. Scott West is up here. He's taking me through. They're building the, the Mossy Oak Ultralight 212, which uh, I have an 18 BHS, and I done fell in love with this, and I got to quit coming up here. 
I found out during the midst of all of us dealing with StarCraft, there's a lot of outdoor-minded people out here. But Scott's big time, bow hunting, turkey hunting, all that. So he came to West Point to go turkey hunting. It's fun. Wasn't yes, it? sir. Oh, yeah. Put your hand on your chest, on your heart, repeat after me. Yes, sir. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the cane break rattler. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the cane break rattler. I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. For I am a turkey hunter of the highest ethics. For I am a turkey hunter of the highest ethics. Lord, give me strength and knowledge. Lord, Lord give, give me strength, strength and knowledge. To bag a big tom. To bag a big tom. Before some minus hunter. Before some, some minus hunter. Plucks him from me. Plucks him from me. Amen. Amen. <laughs> It may be the best turkey hunt I've ever been on. I know he thinks I'm saying that. No, no. Just, just because I'm sitting here. But begin with the turkey gobble, I don't know, 500 times he started at daylight and didn't stop till he put his demise. <laughs> Anyway, the coolest thing that happened, we were sitting in the wrong place. I told him when we went in, it's a gamble. If the turkeys are across the creek, we gotta make this big move and all that. Sure enough, the turkeys were across the creek. And uh, he could hear them, I couldn't. Sorry, getting old, but he kept going. And finally, after about 30 minutes of that, I said, we gotta go to them. And man, it is a long way. So I walked up to the ditch, the creek one more time thinking man if we could just cross it right there and I found a spot where I think I could get down so we got out now my man just he popped up on the other side it was a little more difficult <laughs> I had to slide straight down with the camera throw him all my gear and he helped pull me up anyway we go across this wide open fields a big block of beautiful hardwoods and that turkey's in there and he's still gobbling out. We were knelt down in the high grass. I told Scott, I said, if we can get in them hardwoods without him seeing us, we can kill him. I didn't have to call much. The turkey was gobbling on his own. He answered and answered. And this, this literally went on for an hour and a half. This turkey gobbled every minute. Oh, at least. And five six gobbles in a row just never, never heard anything like it and i'd shut up i'd shut up for 15 20 minutes he'd gobble gobble and finally i could see and scott sitting up front with no cover up against a tree and it's like you know what they gotta leave i'm gonna i told him i said i'm gonna call the, a whole lot it's either gonna shut him up or he's coming so i cut and cut and cut and finally he got to just inside 60 yards let me know when he's in Boom, missed the turkey, it was walking a little bit, but the turkey didn't run away. He kind of angled a little bit toward us, didn't he? Right, yeah, he, he, he kind of run, but quarter, quarter to us. Well, I kind of, after he missed, I kind of just, you know, wasn't thinking, I kind of quit on him. Well, the turkey ran this way, boom, second shot, he rolls him with that TSS. And the turkey's kind of flopping around and he jumps up. I said, shoot him again, he didn't have any shells. I reached in my vest and he was running away from me and I flung a shell and he literally over his shoulder caught it in midair. Am I lying? No, you aren't lying. I heard you pattern hit one of them trees right there. Pat gun. <sighs> You got him. Go run out there, Johnny. I got. I don't have any more bullets. 
Oh, here, 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 here. Right. Coolest thing by far I've ever seen. So awesome on the move on the turkey. Dude, that may be the best turkey hunt I've ever been on. Oh, that was unbelievable. Best turkey hunt I've ever been on. <laughs> that was unbelievable. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. 55 year old. Oh, oh my God. butt was so numb. <laughs> my finger had been on the, the safety for probably an hour. That's the, Unbelievable. That's the, I've been doing this 50 years. That's the most goblin I've ever heard. That was incredible. Wasn't that something? From the roost, <laughs> cross the creek, <laughs> sneak in here, and he did not want to commit. He did not want to commit. <sighs> Look at them spurs. Yeah, that's some good. Look at that one right there. That's a sharp one. That's over an inch. Dude, that is crazy. You think if you live in the south, that's where hunting was invented, especially turkey hunting. I, I find turkey thugs everywhere I go. Him and his son are coming to go bow hunt with me this fall. But the bottom line is, when we got involved with StarCraft, you knew immediately these people up here are number one great people. This is a cool place. They understand the outdoors and people like Scott are running around everywhere. We've been talking to guys Oh, throughout the plant. Right. On their fishing and all this kind of stuff. So anyway, very proud of this relationship. Really proud to show you this 212 Mossy Oak Ultralight, which I think is the coolest thing ever. Now, I'm gonna have to figure out how to trade mine in. Get Miss Pam convinced about that one. He was double and triple down. He gobbled 10, 11 times in a row sometime. That curl with Blue Jay fly over. Oh, 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 we earned that one. That was work. The right way. Yes, we did. Oh my God. Yes, yes we sir. did. You'll learn quick that once you're killed a turkey, you're you come from the top of the totem pole, you go all the way to the bottom. It's like, you'll be lucky if he even speaks to you this afternoon.